This is a simple white frock, and we've applied a design to it using just a few easy steps. With the same technique, you can add any design to any kind of object. Make sure to watch the video till the end so you don't miss any important steps. Before we dive in, shout out to today's sponsor, Luminar Neo. This AI-powered photo editor is packed with tools that significantly improve your workflow. Its AI tools like Generace can remove unwanted objects from your photo instantly. GenExpand magically extends your image in any direction and changes its aspect ratio. It's like content-aware fill on steroids. Need a better sky? Just a click and it's done. Relight AI fixes tricky lighting by separating foreground and background depth, while Atmosphere AI lets you add fog, haze, or sun rays for a cinematic vibe. There's also Enhance AI, which smartly boosts color, contrast, and clarity without over-editing. And if you're editing portraits, tools like Skin AI, Face AI, Body AI, and Portrait Bokeh AI make retouching super fast and natural. Luminar Neo works as a standalone app or as a plugin with Photoshop and Lightroom. And yep, there's a lifetime license option too. Check out the link in the description for a free trial. Now, let's get into it. First, bring your subject into Photoshop. In this case, I have a plain white frock. Next, click on Select Subject, so Photoshop can automatically select the frock. By the way, this contextual bar is only available in the latest version of Photoshop. If you don't see the Select Subject option, simply go to the Select menu and choose Subject. Make sure the selection is accurate. You can also refine it using the Quick Selection tool. Once your subject is selected, press Ctrl plus J to extract it from the background and place it on a new layer. Then select this new layer and change its blending mode to Multiply, so the shadows appear naturally and the design will apply more realistically. Now, to bring your design into Photoshop, go to File and choose Place Embedded. By the way, both the frock image and the design file will be linked in the video description. Adjust the design over the frock and hit Enter. Then, in the Layers panel, hold Alt and hover between the two layers until you see the arrow symbol appear and click. This will clip the design to the frock. Change the design layer's blending mode to multiply again for a more realistic effect. If needed, you can also use the blending options and adjust the current layer blending and underlying layer sliders for better results. To make this frock appear on a model, we'll use ChatGPT. Here in ChatGPT, attach the frock image and give it the specific prompt. Once you add the prompt, it will process the request and return an image of a model wearing the same frock you uploaded. Bring this model image into Photoshop. For this example, I used a new floral pattern from a site called Vecteezy. You can search for floral pattern design on Vecteezy and find plenty of free designs to download. All the links to the designs will also be in the description. Bring this model image into Photoshop. Now, make a selection of only the frock, excluding the hands and other body parts of the model. Once the selection is done, you can apply the design in the same way we applied it earlier. All the links to the designs will also be in the description. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.